Hey guys, we are back in Balsa Model Flight Sim. This is the demo on Steam. Uh, okay, so today what I want to do is I didn't really get into plane building much in the last episode, but this time I want to build. I want to build a plane, and I want to build a plane that actually hopefully works, and I want to build a plane with two engines. That's my goal. That's my goal in life. So let's get right down to it. This is going to be guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed. This is going to be a mess. I like to start with the cockpit. Ooh, maybe we do this cockpit. Um, yeah, sure. This is going to be a mess. I can already tell it's going to be a mess. So let's do it. Let's do things that we're going to regret later. All right. So, okay, we're going to do something like this. How's the nose gonna look? That looks dumb. Uh, yeah, like a missile. Like a fat missile. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. I love it. I don't love it. It's not gonna fly. Guaranteed. Okay, that's good. Is this looking like anything? Not really. Ooh, that's bad. Nope. Uh, well, what are we gonna cap the end of that off with? Maybe that's not a good. Maybe that's not a good piece. Maybe that's not a good piece to use. Um, 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 let's do this. This guy's cool. It conforms to the size of anything, which is kind of. It's actually really helpful because there's not that many components in the game yet. Not that many parts. Um, so that's a nice one. I kind of like ending them with this because it gets you that length. Does that look like anything that will ever have a chance of flying? No, it doesn't. That's okay. Probably. Oh, I don't know what just did there. Probably just gonna try that anyway. Actually, let's go. We're gonna do our rotate tool and get that a little straight. Oh, what are we doing? Where's my symmetry at? Yeah, no. Why symmetry? Please work. Why is this not getting both my wings? Okay, it is. Was it? Was it? And I'm just. Am I just dumb? Very possible. It is extremely possible. Um, yeah, man, I have a hard time making things fly in this game, so this could be pretty rough for us. Dude, I need to stop doing that. I'm trying to right click so we can change some things. All right, we have the ability to make them large. Let's go real large, not very small. Large, let's go real large. A little bit bigger. Let's give them a little bit of sweep. And a horizontal taper. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking cool. Ooh, not too big, you don't wanna go too big. They get too chunky and they don't, I don't know. I feel like you go chunky and then the, the wings actually just don't do anything. So I don't really recommend it. Um, to be honest, let's see, wild wing. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, man, maybe I just do, I never, I always do like the other wings, but maybe I do them back here, because I don't know, I feel like I always struggle with getting things off the ground. And then let's just go with all of regular wings today. This is going to be bad. Let's try it. What could go wrong? Is that straight? Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little, looks a little dumb. We could scoochy scoochy, scooch up a little bit there. And then let's do some sweepage. Sweep, yeah, look, it's looking angular. Nice, a little fatter. Ooh, not so fat. And then in the end, let's just, <laughs> let's just get you back up a little more again. Okay. And then, gosh. Oh, is it gonna fly? Never. I'm gonna put engines out on the ends of the wings, or maybe on top of the wings. Can't put them under, because it doesn't work well. It doesn't work well, I don't think. Not in my experience. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. I have the hardest time getting these to, what happened? Okay. I really do have the hardest time. Okay, span a little bit and yikes, please. 
What is happening? This game is obviously a demo. It is extremely early. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's, it's important to know. So that'll be a rudder. Good. Maybe just make that a dish longer. Yeah, that looks, that looks like it could work. Maybe. I always forget which way these span. Inward. Okay, let's make them a little bit thicker. Because I always seem to have problems with lift. Uh, Alright, let's think about how we put engines on the, uh, on the wings. This is going to be... Oh, this is such a bad idea. I love it. Let's do it. No, that's so that's so aggressive, right? That's just so unnecessary. Um, ooh, how about like this? I need you to flip around. No, those are too big. Let's go... Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, okay. There we go. That could work. It could work. It could also really not work. Yeah, loving it. So good. Uh, do I have spots to put things if I do this? I actually don't know. Okay. Well, that's encouraging. So, like, theoretically... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This this could work. It could work. Yep. That's an engine. A pretty jank engine. <laughs> Alright. Good. And good. Okay. Guaranteed, this will not fly. I also don't have aerolines yet, so that's uh, important. I do. I guess I'll throw some on, and then we'll see how bad, how bad the test, how bad the air test here, whatever it's called. What is it called? Aero, aero stability test. I don't usually do well at the aero stability test. It is not my forte. Get all ailerons out here. Oh, am I not? Gonna get that on the other side? No? Really? Why? But I want it on the other side. I want it on both sides. Okay. That's kind of interesting. It does it if I do it over here, but not. That's fine. As long as it does it, I am happy. All right. Span that out. Out. I was hoping it was gonna go in. Actually, out is an interesting idea. Okay, and then now, yeah, I want them out there. I actually should get some decent turning force. Okay, what do we think? How bad's it gonna be? Let's find out. This is, I don't really fully understand this tool, to be honest. It's quite confusing. Basically, this tells me at right off, real slow, gonna have a, we're just gonna go straight. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up pretty, pretty harsh. And then we're gonna pre be fairly level. And level, and level, and level. Hmm. I don't know if that's good or bad. Sometimes I feel like this looks okay, and then things are not good. Um, okay, we've got we've got ailerons, we've got elevators, we've got our rudder, we've got no battery, and we've got no seats. The seats are not actually important. I like to put them in there because they're cute, but they don't actually do anything. They're just for for looks, but they are adorable. You have to admit that they are adorable. Um, okay, batteries. We could put them on the well, that's no, that's not gonna work. It is not going to work. We are gonna put one there. We could put multiple. We could just put one. This does affect our center of mass, which is oh man, I don't know. It's supposed to be behind the wings. I can't remember. I think it's supposed to be behind the wings. Got me. One battery. I think we're good. Okay, should we try it? Should we see how should we see how badly this goes? The first run is never good. Um, all right, but let's, I guess let's try it. Let's see what, we can paint it too. That's kind of fun. Pink. Ooh, I do like pink. How does it decide what it's, oh, this is cool. Wait, I don't understand what it's, oh. Uh, 
Aha! I'm literally just grabbing the first color I see. That is hideous. That's absolutely hideous. I really hope it flies. Here we are. Oh, wow. It's... Yeah. She ugly. Okay. Start our engine. Man. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm just realizing how off-center the front seat is. Oh, uh, that's funny. Well. Oh! It is actually... I, I don't think I've ever built my own plane in this game and had it actually fly on the first throw. Though I've got some definite, like, alignment issues with the rudder. Okay, that's acknowledged. The rudder also does not do much. It's probably a bit short. But dude, what? It actually flies? My first one? It's... Wow, I'm so excited about this actually climbs okay which is sometimes a big issue for me is I can't get a lot of altitude but or I get altitude only because of engine speed and not and I can't control it so that I if I have the engines full bore basically I don't get I, I can't control my altitude but it's actually really level full bore it's completely level I didn't rehearse this I mean I've played the game a little bit but I haven't made a plane that was this good yet so that was kind of a fluke. I'm excited. I should have actually painted it like a real color. I kind of, and I just sort of like made it look hideous thinking it was going to be terrible because it usually is terrible. Dude, I am stoked on this. Wow, and I can actually fly it upside down. I couldn't even fly the planes in the game well upside down. So, I mean, I think I'm basically better than the developers at this point. This is crazy. The the size of the size of the tail wing is just absurd. It is so weirdly controllable. I am blown away. I am seriously blown away. I had such low expectations. Uh wow. And I can't believe how f how actually controllable it is. Like I built a couple planes that they're super floaty, like they kind of have like a I don't know if they have, like, a weird center of mass, but, like, they pivot around themselves, sort of. And they're just, they're miserable to, to try to try to actually fly. But this is just bizarre. I can't believe this worked out so well for my first go. I mean, I can actually buzz the ground with some control. I don't want to be cocky, but I could, oh, well, that was a mistake. Eh, I hit the wrong button. Eh. I was like, I could probably fly out of this barn of course i think i've blown that at this point well that's okay man that is cool i was afraid this is gonna be a really long video because i was gonna have to try this 700 times i mean yeah it's not like fancy it's not much to look at but dude twin engine and it works it actually it actually works i am pretty stoked dang look at this thing let's see how it climbs the stalls are kind of interesting. It does have pretty solid power with two engines. It doesn't really... Uh, there's... Actually, it's kind of hard to get to stall. I'm also... It kind of bleeds off a little bit. It's not super balanced. Man. This game is cool. It is really cool. If you are in the Kerbal Space Program at all, or like planes, or simulators around planes, like, it's pretty sick. Dang, dude, we're doing 100 and almost 130 kilometers. It'd be interesting if you could, like, rip the wings off by going too fast. Man, it handles 130 kilometers as well as it handles anything. I'm so surprised. I'm just shocked. And I can actually, like, control myself through these buildings. But that is just, oh, that was my, mm, yeah, that was not the I like how it just went into a spin because it only had one engine. Yeah, you can stop doing that. All right, well, uh, first attempt at trying to build an airplane with two engines. Uh, I guess I'm going to say that was kind of a tremendous success. So, pretty stinking fun. Is this not going to, we're not going to run now? You done? 
Are we done? No? There it is. It's funny how, like, sometimes only one engine starts to fall. Man, I can't believe how well that just throws. Because a lot of them, right, well, right off the throw, they start backslipping, or at least they're a little sketchier. You can't go full bore. But this thing is actually amazingly balanced. Despite the, uh, despite the front, front seat being totally out of place, it's actually amazingly balanced. It's pretty great. Pretty darn great. All right, well, this has been Balsa Flight sim model balsa model flight sim i can never remember what this game is called now uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i know i enjoyed actually getting to build something that worked out so let me know what you guys think and if you want to see more videos like this and a balsa model flight sim whatever the game's called go ahead and subscribe for more videos and either way thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video see ya